Are we going to be getting Negan saving our survivors or are we not? There's been a little teaser that we're gonna go over. Stay tuned. Welcome to Knock Pro Nation, guys, and we're here to talk about Negan and the Whisperers. What's going down? Season 10B, let's discuss. That's right, guys. Josh here, I'm Jarrell, and we got a little tease from Little Miss Kaylee Fleming, who plays Judith in regards to Negan and a possible spoiler of is Negan gonna be helping out our characters in yeah. this possible going off of the comic storyline. So there will be spoilers for the comic Walking Dead comics and the Walking Dead season 10 in general. Yeah. But uh, it's is, really interesting that yeah, she almost does, gave a tease. Yeah. Does Negan have the survivors in the back of his mind when he's yeah. kind of methodically trying to infiltrate the whispers? Yeah. Right. So she says there was something that she can't talk about, but she goes in to say, I think Judith think I think Judith thinks that it's a good thing Negan escaped because he was just picking tomatoes, right? He had this bodyguard and all he could do was pick tomatoes and he'd go back in his cell. Flaming was telling always on Instagram Live during a takeover of the Walking Dead Instagram page. But I think that she thinks that he can be useful to the whisperers and he could help the whole whisperer thing that's gonna dot 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 the whisperer thing that I can't talk about. Ooh, I think she could be hinting. He, so she says, and he could help with the whole whisperer thing that's gonna blank the whisperer thing that I can't talk about. Yeah. That's interesting. That could be referencing the source material of Negan taking, taking out, out the leader. Album. Yes. So we don't know, but it's it's very cool. Yeah. She gave a possible, it, almost a tease. Yeah, it's just interesting <laughs> that, like, we're getting these multiple teases from these characters, uh, Judith, or the, the actresses that portray the characters, yeah. um, and Samantha Morton, Alpha, also hinting at something. So, yeah. oh, man. Yeah, it's really cute. I mean, she does go on to say that um, it's so hard not to spoil anything. It's, like, the hardest thing in the entire world because I like to tell people what's going to happen, but I can't. Because I have to keep it all until the episode Think comes out. Think she told her parents? She probably told oh, her parents. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> her parents are probably sitting in the room with her. Probably, but they probably had to sign nine disclosures, yep. non-disclosures as well. Oh, for sure. You know, so it, it, it's cool because, you know, Negan first escaped the jail cell in season nine. And it was Judith who actually brought him back. And she has faith, she said, in Uncle Negan. And nice. what's cool is that she says, I think that Judith thinks Negan could be helpful. That's all I'll say. Now, that's a little contradictory to what we believe. Like, to us, Negan, let's assume that she's talking about Negan taking out Alpha mm -hmm. and, and killing Alpha. The problem with that is that essentially starts the Whisper War. Yeah. So is that really helpful? Because if he kills Alpha, Beta's in the wing and going to take over and the, the herd's coming. I think probably the same way we read it in the comics, we probably assumed, oh, this is the death of Alpha. They're not going to go on without their leader. And that could be what the, you know, what this whole revenge thing Carol is trying to do. She wants to take Alpha out, thinking that if she takes the leader out, everyone else will disband. They won't do anything. They'll go on their way. But as we know from the source material, that doesn't happen that no, way. No. It begins the war. Yeah. But so I think that she's kind of thinking that way as well as, oh, he can, he can help us out by killing Alpha, right? And, you know, disbanding the Whisperers. No. Not so much. It's not going to happen. No. Now, Negan in the show, we haven't got a lot of scenes with him, so hopefully we get more. I think she knows because of how Negan is, maybe she, he can work his magic to deter the Whisperers from, like, saying, oh, let's just forget about them. Yeah, they crossed the border so many times. Mm. Who cares? Let's just be out here in our underwear and just doing our yeah. thing. I don't buy you that. <laughs> Yeah, I, you know, I, I definitely think that, we, and we've talked about this before, Negan is a very smart individual. He's a mm. smart leader. He knows what the hell he's doing. He'll but play dumb at times. But I, I think he doing. also understands, and, and I think we're going to see it, that Alpha is the type of leader that is not going to give in, that is not going to rest yep. at any point. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think that that ultimately will lead to his decision to do what he does because he's going to realize that, like, if I don't do this, this person is just going to send and unleash all hell. Right. 
So one thing that has been um, rumored out there, you know, we were talking about who may have let Negan out of jail. Judith is definitely not one of them. She was actually in Hilltop with Michonne during that time. Yep. So we are still probably leaning on Daryl. I'm still leaning on Daryl. I said it first and you didn't believe me I when I not first said it. No. At first I was like, Lydia? No, not Lydia. Carol? Eh, I don't think Carol. Daryl. Yeah. I think we're still leaving on Daryl. So uh, one last thing Daryl, or excuse me, Kaylee does say about Daryl. She says, Daryl is the coolest uncle for Judith. And she says she has so many different people that she has special relationships with. But seeing that many people don't trust Negan and knowing that Judith does, they have a really special bond that I don't think she has with anyone else. Yeah. So hearing that is really great because we saw the scenes with, you know, her learning I think history or whatever she was trying to learn and Negan, you know, building that special bond. And of course, Michonne and Daryl, they just don't like seeing that. Michonne didn't at first. She was like, don't talk to him. He's a murderer. And you just see that side of, of Judith. You see the Rick in her, you know, you oh, see absolutely. Rick in the character absolutely. and you understand how very, very compassionate she is. And she wants everyone to get I, along. You know, I wish we saw more dynamic between Judith and Negan in the show because mm -hmm. it, it's interesting that you get Judith who's such like Rick like you say and, and and resembles to a T what Rick represented and then to see the opposite where Negan who was brought down by Rick and to have them unite and and become the, this this great relationship I think really needs to be more in the show that yeah. needs to be represented more because especially I hope we get some type of Rick and Judith Grimes reunion eventually. Um, I got goosebumps even thinking about that. It's one thing that we want. We won't dive into this because that's no, part that's, of the Rick Grimes a whole movies. Video. But uh, yeah, the cool thing is that Katie Fleming does say that you know one of the best relationships ever on the show is between her and Negan mm -hmm. Sheffields. And so, I mean, that is, guys, I think that is a pretty big almost spoiler from Katie Fleming where... She almost revealed it, and I think what she's talking about, this whisper thing that she can't really talk about, I, I think I'm leaning towards the source material of, I think she knows what might be happening, or maybe she's read it in the comics, or she's kind of read part of the script or whatever, but I, I, I'm leaning towards that. When do you think it's coming? Man, it's, I mean... Assuming that they're going to do it, what episode do you think? I don't think it. Look, it's obviously not going to happen at season premiere, mid-season premiere. Um, I if I had to if I had to put a number G going on going into where we're if going in saying that the Whisperer War is in season ten, it's not going to bleed over into season eleven. It's going to have to be fast. Um, it's going to have to be fast. I would say by episode uh, what 13, 12, 14. 12, 13. Yeah, because I from what we've heard, episode twelve, I believe, is the last episode of Deny with so Michonne. Then, yeah, so then thirteen. So that's probably, they're that's not, gonna be her own episode. Yeah, they're not gonna do it with Deny Deny's no. exit. No. No way. No, that's gonna be her own episode. Unless she makes it we won't get into that. Unless she makes it back <laughs> with weapons, but we won't get into that. But I would say by episode three. 13 or maybe the start of it because we've seen the the one picture of alpha you know shooting the arrows on hilltop so it's gonna start so i think it's gonna start differently than what we think from the source material mm -hmm. i think the war is gonna start but it's not really gonna pick up until maybe after yeah. then then, alpha then what you dies. have to assume here is that negan watches alpha start to unleash this war on our survivors he's he's probably gonna have to realize at this point like i have to stop this woman from doing what she's doing mm -hmm. yeah it's it's gonna be tough i mean if they're gonna fit that's in gonna the be, second half that's gonna be an gonna awesome storyline oh yeah yeah, him following her up to the point where he realizes, look, I have to stop her. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really awesome. So yeah, I mean, we're super pumped for this, guys. We got a cool little tease from Kaylee Fleming that something is in the works that she can't talk about. She almost spoiled it, but uh, yes, Kaylee Negan is not picking tomatoes anymore. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> Not until maybe after this war is over. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you smash the like button. Let us know in the comments your thoughts of her comments and the upcoming season 10B. Feel free to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're always notified. And stay tuned for more. I'm Jamel. I'm Josh. We're Nation. We're, We're out. out.